Hello, everyone. In the previous video, we have learned about the development of atomic models. As we know, atom is defined as the smallest unit of matter. If atoms make up matter, in this lesson, we will learn that what makes up atoms as we discuss about the subatomic particles. Cells have organelles that serve as tiny parts that make it up. In a similar way, atoms are made up of subatomic particles. There are three subatomic particles that make up an atom and they differ primarily in charges and relative masses. These are the protons, electrons, and the neutrons. Protons are positively charged particles that are found in the nucleus of the atom. It is found together with the neutrons, which are the particles without a charge. They both have a relative mass of 1 AMU or 1 atomic mass unit. Electrons, on the other hand, are found outside the nucleus of the atom. Electrons are negatively charged particles that are so light that they have a relative mass of 1 over 1,840 AMU. This is the same reason why electrons do not account for the mass of the atom. In an atom, the number of protons is similar to the atomic number all the time. Changing the number of protons changes the identity of the element. For instance, carbon has 6 protons, therefore has atomic number 6. Adding 1 proton changes the element to nitrogen. Apart from the atomic number, the number of electrons is also similar with the number of protons if the relative charge of the entire atom is zero, or what we call ground state. For example, carbon is a neutral atom, having equal number of protons and electrons at 6, meaning 6 positively charged particles and 6 negatively charged particles, having a sum of 0 as its total charge. The mass of the atom is accounted by the number of protons and neutrons, or in other words, the mass of the nucleus. As mentioned, electrons do not account for the mass of the atom because its relative mass is too small. Adding the number of protons and neutrons will give us the approximate mass of the atom in AMU or in grams per mole. For instance, going back to the carbon example, it has 6 protons and 6 neutrons. This will give us a sum of 12 AMU or 12 grams per mole. Let us try to break down the number of subatomic particles, atomic mass, and atomic number for this example on oxygen. Now, try it yourself with this example on aluminum. I hope you all learned today. See you next time! Did you like this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more.